Hello everybody and welcome to the Wordsmith YouTube channel where we delve deep into the intricacies of vocal artistry and sometimes movies. But today we're embarking on a mesmerizing journey as we react and vocally analyze a much requested song, Love of Tired Swans, performed by the extraordinary Dimash Kudaibergen. And he's joining forces with the brilliant Igor Krutoy, and Dimash's performance unfolds at a concert dedicated to the day of the workers of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of the Russian Federation. Boy, that's a mouthful. And it's set within the grandeur of the Kremlin in Moscow. So for those of you who are new to the channel, hello, my name is Carl, and I am a vocalist, wordsmith reactor, and movie reviewer. All right, so before we dissect every nuance of Dimash's vocal prowess, as well as Igor's gift for composing, please do consider hitting that like button, leaving your thoughts in the comment section below, and subscribe to stay tuned for more captivating analysis and reactions. And hey, if you'd like to support this musical and cinematic journey further, consider joining our Patreon community for exclusive perks and benefits, starting as low as $1 per month. Or if you prefer an alternate method, you can also contribute through PayPal and Superthanks. The links for the PayPal and Patreon will be in the description below. And a massive thank you to all my Wordsmith patrons and PayPal supporters. Your support fueled my passion for uncovering the brilliance and the magic of music. All right, so without further ado, let's dive straight into it. All right, so I have skipped ahead to where I think Dimash is going to start singing. So let's go for it. Oh, that's well, that's quite something, isn't it? Okay, so Dimash begins. We notice a tender quality in his lower chest range. This refers to the resonance area in his voice where it sounds warm and rich. And you might be able to catch a few instances of glottal onsets here and there which are those subtle stops or catches in the sound. It adds a touch of texture to his performance. Now, another thing that we can pay attention to is his stage presence, which is always excellent. And notice how he gracefully descends the stairs. It's like he's inviting us into the essence of the song, drawing us closer to the emotional core. And this connection that he establishes with the audience right from the start is always very remarkable. He's a true showman. And also considering the title and the captions provided, we can anticipate that this is a romantic piece. However, it's worth noting that YouTube captions might not always be entirely accurate. Nevertheless, understanding the thematic context can help us appreciate Dimash's interpretation even more. So let's keep a keen ear listening to see what unfolds and how he unfolds this romantic narrative through his vocal expression. Vibrato. Love the swan in the back. And again, that vibrato on that enduring phrase, gorgeous. I hope you would have noticed how his voice subtly oscillates, creating a beautiful shimmering effect on those sustained notes. Now that's his vibrato at work. Vibrato adds depth and richness to his singing or any singer singing. It enhances the emotional impact of each phrase as well. What's particularly captivating about Dimash's vibrato here, as with most of his performances, is its smoothness and control. It's like a gentle wave flowing through the voice, adding a layer of emotional nuance to his performance. Vibrato, really, it's a hallmark for any accomplished vocalist, and Dimash demonstrates mastery in its execution here. And onward we go. Не 
могу жить в разлуке That sounds like a chorus. That's a beautiful stage setup, by the way. Loving the swans in the back. Okay, so seems like we're delving into the chorus of the song. And notice how the melody unfolds with such grace and such beauty. It's like a musical journey that just takes us on this captivating ride. And this melody is a testament to the exceptional craftsmanship of Igor Krutoy, the composer. I don't know where he is, but his work here is truly remarkable once again. And that's hardly surprising given his talent and track record. When you have Dimash and Igor collaborating together, you know it's going to be something special. Now, let's talk about the vocal technique. Pay attention to how he navigates his lower chest register with such control and finesse. You see, he's covering a wide range of notes, which isn't always the easiest task for singers. Yet he makes it sound and look effortless, such as the man's class. All right, continuing on. Mm. Oh, there he is. I love the melody of this. It's beautiful. And I don't know why I was so oblivious to this, but the orchestral accompaniment definitely does add a layer of grandeur to the performance, doesn't it? I mean, a full orchestra can truly elevate a piece of music, adding depth and richness to the overall sound. And back to Dimash's voice. Can you guys see how his notes flow seamlessly from one to the next? That is thanks to something called a legato. Now, legato is from the Italian word meaning tied together. It refers to the smooth and connected singing style where each note flows into the next without any interruption. It's like a smooth, continuous stream of sound. And did you notice how he elongates certain phrases, holding them longer than expected? This not only showcases his vocal control, but also highlights his impressive breath support as well. And I talk about breath support quite often. But breath support is crucial for any and all singers. It allows them to sustain notes and phrases with consistency and power. Dimash's ability to elongate phrases effortlessly is a testament to a very strong breathing system. And very well supported, of course. It's like he has an endless reserve of air, enabling him to shape his phrases with precision and expressiveness. So, really excellent. All right, let's go. Oh, over more. Hello. There was no hint of the transition at all. That was. It's like you just flipped a switch. It's, it's crazy. Well, hello, head voice. Nice to see you again. Dimash's transition into his head voice. The transition was seamless and instantaneous. It was like that. It's like he just effortlessly glides from his lower chest register to this airy, ethereal head voice. Now, speaking of head voice, let's talk about it. When singers shift to head voice, they're tapping into a different resonance area in their vocal mechanism. It's often characterized by a lighter, more airy quality compared to the richness of the lower register that we heard earlier. And head voice adds a sense of delicacy and brightness to the sound, creating a striking contrast to what we heard before. <laughs> Again, Dimash, he just flips a switch. Onward. Igor.
Well, <laughs> I want us to take a moment to observe Dimash's stance on stage. Look here, right? Notice how grounded he is with his legs apart and a very dramatic presence. It's all intentional. It's an intentional posture which serves several important purposes for any singer. First thing I would say is this. Having a wide stance helps singers maintain balance and stability, especially when they're delivering powerful or dynamic performances. Singing generally requires a lot of physical energy, and having a solid stance ensures that singers can support their body weight and maintain control over their movements. The second thing I would say, a dramatic stance like Dimash's adds the visual impact of the performance. It enhances the overall stage presence and helps convey the emotions and intensity of the song. Singers often use their body language to complement their vocal expression. It creates a more immersive and engaging experience for the audience. And then finally, I would say, a grounded stance can also facilitate proper breathing technique. When singers stand with their feet firmly planted on the ground, it allows for better alignment of the body and promotes optimal breathing mechanics. And then this in turn enhances vocal projection, control, which enables singers to deliver their best performance. So why stuff from Dimash? He's an experienced singer, as we know. Oh, oh, I love that. Wow. Okay, yeah. I, oof. There's, you can sense it's building more and more. That beautiful section with added aspiration. Or perhaps falsetto? It's so captivating, isn't it? It adds such a depth of emotion to the performance, creating a moment of vulnerability and intensity at the same time. So to execute this section flawlessly, a singer must possess extreme proficiency in manipulating the textures of their voice, which Dimash has. But let's break that down a little bit further. So aspiration refers to that breathy quality we hear in the vocals, whilst falsetto is a light and airy vocal register often used for higher notes. Both techniques require precise control and sensitivity from the singer. Now, later on in this section, we're treated to this gorgeous weightiness even in his head mix voice. Now, this refers to the richness and depth of tone that Dimash maintains even in the higher registers of his voice. He's just an incredible vocalist with immense control and strength over all his technical proficiencies. Yeah, he's gone up a year. And believe me, that's not even the tip of the iceberg. Intensity. That is the order of the day for this section of the song. There's a palpable sense of passion and emotion in every note that he's singing. What's particularly striking is the increase in vocal fold contact, resulting in a stronger and weightier sound. So we can delve into what that means, right? So when there's more vocal fold contact, it means that the vocal folds are coming together more firmly during phonation, which is creating a more powerful and resonant sound. So this increase in strength and weightiness adds depth and intensity to his vocals, lending a sense of gravitas to his performance. It's like he's pouring his heart and soul into every word, infusing each phrase with raw emotion and power. Dimash's ability to harness the full potential of his voice with its strength and richness, it's, it's something else. Onward we go with much anticipation. Oh, I 
Ó, It's his control, his control. I can talk about his control for an hour straight, but his control in his head voice is truly magnificent. And notice how he's just effortlessly navigating those higher registers with precision. It's something else. And once again, that's a testament to his exceptional vocal technique and mastery of his placement. It's just gorgeous stuff, man. Ooh, nice fall off. So, uh, there was a bit of genre mixing there that we're quite familiar with Dimash. We know he likes to take techniques from other genres and incorporate them into one song. So I just want to talk about that for a bit. So Dimash's contemporary styling so captivating. It's one of my favorite things about him, especially with the subtle fall off in his phrasing. It adds a modern flair to his performance, injecting it with this sense of spontaneity and, and freshness. It's really great. And another thing that's remarkable about him, of which there are many, is how he seamlessly blends vocal techniques from different genres, like I mentioned earlier. He effortlessly combines elements of pop, classical, opera, even jazz into his performances, creating a unique and eclectic sound that's all his own. So this versatility allows him to explore a wide range of musical styles while still maintaining his very distinct identity as an artist. So he paints with a diverse palette of vocal colors, infusing each phrase with a rich tapestry of textures and emotions. This ability that he has to seamlessly blend genres speaks to his artistic vision and his commitment to pushing the boundaries of vocal expression. Outstanding. Okay, love it when Igor's on the piano. Of course. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. I mean, I've heard him do that before, but it. <laughs> and another thing that that onset was so clean. Especially considering it's Dimash in his soprano range. It's... His vocal evolution and refinement is... There's no one that compares. And that final note, let's talk about that soprano E6 he just effortlessly reached. It's remarkable how he consistently delivers these soaring high notes with such clarity and precision. Dimash has hit that note before, but every time he does something like this, it's, it's not something you get used to. There's a sense of awe and wonder that never diminishes with any of his performances. His ability to consistently hit these stratospheric notes, his vocal range. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Tried so hard not to pause there, but 
how do you go uh, can we just acknowledge his showmanship for a second did you notice how he dropped down to his knees whilst belting those extremely high notes in his mix i mean that's dramatic flair that just adds a layer of intensity man that's oh and do you know what's truly remarkable is how seamlessly he balances being a showman with his incredible vocal abilities. He's not just a singer, he's a captivating entertainer who just knows how to command a stage. And whether he's hitting these jaw-dropping high notes or engaging in these dramatic gestures, he just knows how to keep us on the edge of our seats. That's an artist. This is, um, my favorites keep changing, but this is, ah, uh, okay, I'll say afterwards. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The way he finished that song. Eloquence and beauty. He caresses the final note with such finesse and fragility and it's just mesmerizing. This is an outstanding performance and it showcases his exceptional talent from the tender vulnerability of his delivery to the soaring heights of his vocal acrobatics. He just, that was such a journey of emotion and intensity that leaves us breathless. So his musicianship is excellent. He's, again, not just a singer. He's a true artist who possesses a vocal instrument that is really a one in a billion, or once in a lifetime maybe. And his ability to interpret a song with such depth and emotion, his mastery in vocals, his innovative approach to music make him stand out as a rare talent in this industry. And he has this unique gift that allows him to connect with audiences at a very profound level, and it leaves a very much lasting impression. And that's all I have to say. I think I've said everything so many times in every other video. Well, folks, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed my reaction and analysis, show some love by hitting the like button, subscribing and sharing this video on your social media if you'd be so kind. And don't forget, for exclusive content and to support my channel, consider becoming a patron or helping me out through PayPal or the Super Thanks. We appreciate every single one of you. And until next time, guys, be kind, be loving, be gentle to one another, and help each other out when you can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Cheers.